who is ready for the 4th of July that's gonna be coming up next week really it's already July next week crazy I mean Saturday July 1st anyway I'm ready for a July 4th to get here we love shooting off fireworks we love visiting family down back at home it's gonna be fabulous fantastic and I wanted to share a look that I've been mulling around in my mind a 4th of July look using of course our mineral pigments and applying them a, a different way than I normally would now normally I would apply our pigments dry meaning that I don't wish wet my brushes they just go on I use my my brushes are dry nothing's on them I pick the pigment powder up and I pat it on my eye well today I'm going to not do that at least for one of the colors I'm going to apply one of my colors doing it wet and um, so let's get started because I wanted to show you this I wanted to show you that there is a big difference when you have when you apply makeup on that it's wet versus when it's dry at least the mineral pigments so our our rose water toning spritzer is fabulous for toning it's fabulous for sunburns if you get sunburn you know a little too much sun and I sprayed this on my face because I got sunburn uh, during our summer camp didn't peel didn't it went tan see I have I'm tan I didn't peel it was wonderful I used this on my daughter as well because she got sun right here and she never peeled either so it's this stuff is wonderful. So anyway, I'm just spraying my liner shader brush, getting it wet, and I'm going to get heartbroken. And as always, I my eyes are already primed, as well as my face, because I'm going to be doing my face after I do this. So I'm using heartbroken, and I'm just grabbing a little bit in my little um, lid there, as you can see. And before I apply this on, I wanted to show you the difference of applying this wet versus dry so brush is wet right okay you see that you see how bold that color is and I'm gonna get a dry brush my deluxe brush here and apply that on dry okay do you see how the difference versus a dry versus wet and even with the primer that's gonna make that color even more bolder than what it is on going on in my hand there all right so wet brush applying this on this is going on my lid and you can see like look at that bold bold brightly colored and I typically don't do the bold colors that's why I haven't like this is like mm, branching out right here. Doing something differently that I would never have done before. And look at that. Look how bold and beautiful that is. This is, this is just a great color for the 4th of July. I mean, I love this. I love Heartbroken. Just getting a little bit in my crease there. Okay. Next, I'm gonna get my crease brush and I'm going for the blue color. And I'm going to use Twitter powdered. This I am applying on a dry. When I was trying to figure this out and working this out the other day, if I apply Twitter powder on wet, it was way too much. So dry. Even a blow it off. And this is just making a seven and tapping it on there. And again, don't worry, all of this is gonna be blended. It's gonna be marvelous. Okay, so that's on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think I'm going to bring it down under my eye there. Alright, this one I have to look up, so pardon me. We'll see. 
we'll see. Okay, and now I'm going to do my highlight. And with this, I'm going to use Angelic. This is my white and my red, white, and blue. And I am going to use the angle side of my angle sponge brush. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous highlighting. I mean, it really is. It's beautiful. It's bright. It's vibrant. And again, this one is going on dry as well. And right under my brow. See? Shimmery too. It's gorgeous. Alright, and then bring that down. Go in, in the corner as well. My The inner B. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit more of Angelic. And I'm actually going to bring that in about halfway onto Heartbroken there. Pat it on. Because I just want to lighten that up just a little bit. Kind of doing like an ombre-ish effect. Okay, now blend, blend, blend. All over the eye, especially right here where the two colors meet. Don't worry, we'll fix all that up when I put on my foundation and concealer. Boom. All right, what do I want to do now? Now I'm, I'm debating if I want to do a liner. If I don't want to do a liner, I don't know what do you, what do you, hmm. Don't know. I think I won't do a liner. We'll keep it as that. All right, so now for the mascara. Like we always do, warm up that transplanting gel and apply.
Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to finish off my other eye and show you what lip color I'm decided to do right, with this. I'm back as promised and I went ahead and put on my foundation, my liquid foundation in Organza. Followed that up with um, my concealer in Scarlet and uh, put my blush on. It's in the color Sweet. And I actually topped everything all off with our with a new loose uh, powder foundation. Loose powder foundation. Loose powder foundation in the color Organza as well. So, like I said, coming back with you with um, the the lip look that's going to finish this all out. Since I have so many colors, vibrant colors going on with my eyes here. Remember, heartbroken, Twitter powdered, and angelic. I'm gonna go with a neutral look, a neutral lip. Now you don't have to, but I am, that's just me. A lot of people will go, you know, with the red lip, with it being, you know, the 4th of July, but not me, not today. So I am using a lip, our lip liner in Pouty, which is this mauve, and then I'm going to do a, um, follow that up with our liner in Pristine and our lucrative lip gloss in the color Luxe. So all very neutral, neutral things going on here. So... My lips have been moisturized and exfoliated, so here we go. Now, I'm going to make like a pouty look, a pouty lip. So, I just outline the bottom and then I'm going to shade in the corners. Alright, so now our liners, all of our, our lip liners and our eyeliners all have a 30 to 40 second window, a uh, drying window. So I am trying to do this in a hurry. Color in that. Boom. And I'm going to take clean fingers and just kind of smudge that white. In with the Lux. Rub them together. Now, you could leave them here, but putting the lip gloss on is going to help with that mixing that color and blending it in a lot better. So, and I love these. Look how, look at that. It's a flat applicator and they're not sticky at all. Just a little bit more right here. All right. Mm, love it. I, my lips don't feel sticky at all. So there we have it, you guys. This is my 4th of July look that I wanted to share with you guys. And um, what I'm thinking of wearing for the 4th of July. And you never know. I may change. But I use Heartbroken Twitter Powdered Angelic on my eyes. And I use Pouty, Pristine, and our liners and Lux lip gloss on top of that. So you guys, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July party. Be safe 
enjoy friends and family enjoy whatever company you decide to have with you you guys all right i will try and and post as as much as i can during the weekend but um we shall see all right talk to you later guys bye